Hey guys, Hector here with another anime figure unboxing. Some of you guys may have seen on my SAC Anime Vlogs, SAC Anime Winter 2016 Vlogs, I bought this at the convention and so I waited to unbox it and review it for you guys. Now this did come as a set. This is of course from Kill la Kill. This is um, Ryuko. I barely started watching the show so I don't have the names down like that. Anyways, this is Ryuko and it came with a set with um, Satsuki but I didn't really have a ton of money to spend so I didn't want to get both of them so I was just like oh, I'm just I'll just get this one so anyways yeah let's unbox it and review it and all that good stuff so I guess it's from Jama is that the um, what do you call it manufacturer's name or something because it also says it's from Sega and then it says trigger so how many name brands do they got up in this anyway it says kill a kill premium figure and I cannot read this it's probably their name since it has both of the pictures on there and I'm pretty sure that's Cole maybe that's Yuko and Satsuki maybe I don't know um this kill a kill premium figure again same stuff Sega made in China QR code and that's how you put the scissors blade right here and then you put this sword for the other chick like that just assembly stuff top kill a kill bottom absolutely nothing there were three pieces of tape on here so I already took them off so I can unbox it so let's just unbox it okay, nothing in here but the background. Put that box over here. The stand. That's taped shut. Alright, so I'm guessing this is her name. Matoi Yuko, maybe? I don't know. This is the stand, platform, whatever you want to call it. Sega, made in China on this side. I put that right there. Took more tape off because that was blocking her. Okay, and everything is stiff. This is thick plastic or PVC or whatever. Um, just trying to get it. Oh, my camera does not want to focus. There we go. Getting a good look around her. Oh, underneath her hair. Not very... I guess it's kind of detailed. I don't know. Painting is always great on these PVC figures. Let's even get a good look at the glove and a good look at her eyes and top of the head looks like her bangs can come off like some of the figures and you can exchange her face but you cannot so do not try and what is this I don't know I don't remember those being part of the costume I don't know and the shoes plain white one little nub and then another little nub to put her on the stand so let's put her on the stand and let's see how she looks and the scissor blade it's pretty thin plastic I'm a little afraid it's gonna what do you call it break so how do you do this again let's see Let's look at the box. What the hell is this? What does this mean? <clears throat> oh. Well, there's another piece in here. I was like, how the heck do you attach this? So, this goes like this. So yeah, I guess that's it. You just put the little scissor blade on the stand and then just place it on the base there's nothing really holding it so that worries me a little bit especially how flexible and thin this piece of plastic is so I guess whoops and see it's just popping right off so I guess that's it for this little figure unboxing and review I'll give it a little spin so you guys can see it 360 degrees and a little shima bun
Let's take another close look. And there you have it, the Yuko Matoi figure from Kill La Kill, which I got at Sack Anime Winter 2016. But I will leave a link in the description to an Amazon listing, you can buy one too over at Amazon, but not too expensive. So if you use my link, I will get a small cut and it won't cost you anything extra, it'll just help keep my website running and my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video or if you just appreciated me doing it, you can give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more otaku related stuff. Some are product reviews like this, some are educational videos, my otaku encyclopedia, some are vlogs and cosplay and all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to see any of that, definitely subscribe because more is going to be coming in the future. Mm -hmm.